つ道場はイギリス全土に100箇所以上生徒数は 8,000 人を超えるだから一月の半分をロンドンで残りを地方の道場で過ごしている彼は田舎町の小学校にやってきた小学校の狭い講堂が今日の道場であるここでも日本で教える通りに教えた私は日本のとおりに日本のスタイルでもって初めから教えました最初に座れない人でも座らせてですね正面に礼して先生に礼をして初めてその練習を始めるとそれをですね最初拙い英語でもってねいろいろ説明しました1年ぐらい経ってからはね逆にそれはやめましたでとにかくそれはやれとそのうちにだんだんねあの向こうに分かってくるんですその時点においてですね説明するようにしましたそうしないとですね初めからいくら説明してもねもう絶対に分かってもらえないひっそりと静まり返ったテームズ川上流ウィンザー付近空にも川にも灰色がさしてまたイギリス特有の暗い冬が近づいただが6度目の冬を迎えても江枝さんの情熱は燃えたぎっている空手というものはまだまだその誤解されている面もありますからねそういった点をもう自分にその理解していただくだからそれがもう3年なのか5年なのかそれだけはやっていきたいこれがですねその私の生涯においてですねその一つのですねそのまあイングランドのイングランドのところにですねそういったその種をまいたというだけでもって私の,その生涯のにしたいと思いますんでぜひそれだけはもうきっちりやっていきたいと思います。だから、今度はまた読みてですねどんどん広げていきたいと思いますしもしそれがやり遂げなかったら骨を埋めるということになると思います。
Mokso! The following are the words of Funakoshi Gichin, the father of modern karate, and the man most responsible for pulling back the veil of secrecy that surrounded this martial art for hundreds of years. As the mirror's polished surface reflects whatever stands before it, and the quiet valley carries even small sounds, so must the student of karate render his mind empty of selfishness and wickedness in an effort to react appropriately towards anything he might encounter. Although karate-do is a 20th century Japanese word meaning the way of the empty hand, the origins of karate can in fact be traced back from Japan by Okinawa and China, possibly as far back as 5th century BC India. Uh, it was at that time that um, a Buddhist monk by the name of Daruma is reputed to have travelled from India to China uh, to teach Zen Buddhism at the monastery of Shailin Tzu, which is the, the monastery that's referred to in the, the current Kung Fu series on television. However, he found that the students that he taught uh, were lacking in stamina, both mental and physical, physical and uh, consequently he devised a, a system of physical exercise to uh, strengthen them up. This involved a, a combination of yoga breathing techniques and indigenous uh, Chinese fighting. And consequently, the uh, monks of Shailin Tzu became extremely famous throughout China as fighting monks. Um, as the, the technique spread throughout the country, they, um, however, uh, adopted, uh, assumed different forms according to the local conditions. In the uh, northern parts of China, where there are many horsemen who naturally developed strong legs, there, were, there was an emphasis upon leg techniques, whereas in uh, south China, where there were many uh, boatmen and paddy field workers, there was more of an emphasis upon arm and head techniques. Uh, much later, about the 16th century, um, these fighting forms had an influence upon Okinawa, which is an island uh, midway between China and Japan. And at the very beginning of this century, an Okinawan by the name of Funakoshi Gishin uh, travelled to Japan to teach at one of the police schools and introduce these techniques into that country. And having incorporated various uh, Japanese techniques into his system, he renamed it Karate. It had previously been called Kempo or Kung Fu because of its Chinese influence. Um, Funakoshi's style of karate was known as Shotokan and it's this particular style that you will see demonstrated this evening. The Shotokan Karate Center students will be given the demonstrations and this is one of the associations within the British Karate Control Commission. The senior Shotokan instructor in Europe is Kinuski Inoida, 7th Dan Black Belt, who will demonstrate some of his techniques with Mr. Hideo Tomita, 4th Dan. 7th uh, Dan is in fact the highest Dan grade in Europe and the, the grades rise from 1st Dan to 7th Dan. Uh, Mr. Noida will first of all demonstrate the technique slowly that's so that you can observe the style and then at normal speed. The first technique will be Gyakuzuki or reverse punch. Uh, note that the body is relaxed during the early part of the punch and this enables the muscles to move quickly thereby creating speed. Uh, tension comes only on contact through a strong stance, a tensing of all the muscles and a twisting of the wrist on focus. Uh, you will see that when the punch is done at speed there is also a strong ki or yell which comes more from the stomach than the throat. Uh, this yell assists muscle contraction and gives a psychological focus to the blow. Notice the control that is necessary not to hit the partner. Uh, Mr. Anoida will now show us a series of blows to the face and body at speed. Mr. Anoida's control is such that even at speed he can hold his attack
just short of contact. The Gyakuzuki is used for punching from close to the opponent. When punching from a distance, you need to step in first. The technique is then known as Oizuki. Uh, Mr. Anoida will now demonstrate this slowly, then at normal speed. These punches are exceedingly powerful, although perhaps that's not immediately obvious to the viewer because of the control involved. Uh, to prove the effectiveness and the power of these techniques, karateka sometimes break wood. Um, some styles do this more than others, um, although all of them do it a lot less than is generally supposed. Um, when they do do it, they do it to demonstrate power, but also to develop concentration and uh, self-discipline and an explosive physical action. Um, we will now have a demonstration of wood braiding by uh, Dave Hazard, first Dan, who, as you can see, is holding a very large, thick piece of wood, which is in fact three inches thick, and it is Japanese obichi, which is a hard wood. The part of the fist that he uses to do the breaking are the ends of the first and second knuckle, not the entire face of the fist, but just the, just the ends, so that there is a concentrated point of focus. Thank you, Dave. Uh, Mr. Anoida will now show you some blocks slowly at first. Blows to the face are generally deflected in an upward direction. Those to the body in a sideways direction either by the forearm or the knife hand. And those to the abdomen or groin in a downward direction. Notice that these are not just deflections, but strikes at an attacking arm. Uh, they can, in fact, be extremely painful and be uh, a substantial deterrent to further attack. Uh, we'll now see some kicks, and the, the most basic kick is the Maigeri, or front kick. Uh, this is a kick with the ball of the foot to the ab abdomen, or, or the face. Uh, the knee lift at the start of the kick allows the leg to swing in a short pendulum and therefore develop speed. Notice that the, to the, cut the toes are curled back to avoid injuring the kicker. After contact, the foot is pulled back quickly to avoid being grabbed. Another basic kick is the Yoko Geri or side kick. Uh, this can be done as a hard driving kick with the edge of the foot or as a snap kick. A snap kick. <laughs> and a driving kick. Uh, possibly two of the most impressive looking kicks are the roundhouse and reverse roundhouse kicks to the head. Uh, these require considerable flexibility. Uh, notice the bent knee again and the quick pull back of the leg to avoid being caught. Japanese names are Mawashigeri and Ushiro Mawashigeri.
The final kick will be the Ushiro Geri or back kick in which one kicks at an opponent attacking from the rear. Uh, there is a pivot on the feet and then you look over the shoulder to see the opponent. Uh, this is the only kick in karate in which the upper body does not remain vertical. Ideal uh, situations, of course, are, are rare in karate, and rarely can one find a situation where one knows exactly wh what is to be expected. Uh, in an unexpected situation, obviously, the karateka has to train to uh, react instinctively and with a sixth sense. In fact, uh, he consciously trains to, to uh, be receptive to atmosphere and to the movement of opponents so that he can act automatically. Uh, this can be done by practicing some techniques blindfold um, and also by practicing in confined and difficult positions. Uh, we'll now have a demonstration of some techniques which are practiced from a kneeling position. Uh, sometimes equivalent techniques are practiced from chair positions. The, the, the object of this is not that one expects to be attacked in such a position, but because of its awkwardness, it enables one to, to learn to react uh, appropriately in whatever situation one finds oneself. Uh, Mr. Maseo Kawazoi, fifth dan, will now defend himself against Mr. Ati uh, Mr. Tomita's attack whilst in a kneeling position. Notice how he always watches his opponent. Now we'll have similar techniques from a sideways position. Notice the careful judgment of distance. Thank you, Mr. Kawazoe and Mr. Tomita. The uh, publication of karate techniques in book form is obviously a, a very recent innovation, in fact, a 20th century innovation. And originally, uh, techniques were passed down by word of mouth with uh, considerable secrecy and personal example. Um, when one's instructor was not present, it was obviously extremely difficult to uh, practice the techniques and to remember them. Uh, consequently, in order to assist students with this, they were combined together in uh, a fixed sequence, which obviously made them easier to remember. Uh, these fixed sequences, and there are many uh, of them, are known as kata, and they take the form of imaginary fighting with several different attackers approaching from different directions. Um, most styles of karate have about five basic kata, and possibly up to 50 more advanced ones. Um, some are old, some are modern, 
um, and they vary very considerably in complexity and length. Some are fast and some are slow and uh, there is a variation in the degree of tension. Some emphasize muscular tension, others relaxation. And the, the range of techniques and the combinations of them uh, vary considerably. In fact, really, they constitute something like a memory bank of uh, techniques. Uh, there are many people who practice karate feel that um, kata is more in the genuine spirit of karate than is uh, modern competition karate, which, uh, because of its uh, restrictive rules and the inevitable degree of artificiality, um, has a, an element of unreality about it. Um, in a kata, it's possible to let oneself go entirely and to thoroughly identify with the movement. Um, this demonstration kata will be by Dave Hazard, first Dan, who will uh, demonstrate one of the basic Shotokan kata known as Hian Yondan. Hian Yondan! Thank you, Dave. The performance of such kata is, uh, is obviously physically very demanding and is uh, very fitness-making. Um, they also have considerable practical applications and can be uh, applied to realistic situations. Um, we will now see an interpretation of that kata with the, the same...
the rest of the committee, Sent United. The, the first movement is a block which is um, a common factor to all kata and is indicative of the fact that uh, no genuine karate man would attack first. Um, this kata will be demonstrated by Jim Wilson, uh, second Dan, who will be attacked by four assailants. Thank you, Jim. Some of the techniques that you have uh, seen so far may seem a little formal and practiced. Uh, this isn't in fact so, but do remember that karateka train for an instinctive reaction so that they can automatically adopt whatever particular technique is applicable. Uh, we're now going to have a, a demonstration of defense against a knife attack, and this knife that you're just about to see is certainly not artificial. Uh, by the correct use of uh, distance and movement, it is in fact possible to control the, the uh, movements of an attacker and to lure him into making specific attacks for which one is prepared. Uh, an expert can, e can even um, control the opponent by use of the eyes, almost as if by hypnosis. Uh, we would emphasize, of course, that this particular uh, demonstration is extremely dangerous and should only be practiced by experts in very controlled situations. Uh, Mr. Kawazoe will now defend himself against an attack by Mr. Tamita. Hop! Chua! 
Obviously, split-second timing is required for this. Thank you, Mr. Kawazoe and Mr. Tomita. Uh, many people will doubtless think that karate is a, a, a thoroughly unfeminine activity, uh, completely unsuited to women. Um, so far as competition karate is concerned, this is very probably so. But the type of karate that we're seeing this evening um, is certainly, it certainly leads to fitness, a considerable flexibility, and to a gracefulness of mo movement, as well, of course, as to a capacity for self-defense. Um, of all the Japanese martial arts, karate is probably the most suited to self-defense. Um, as in judo, for example, there are a, a lot of grappling techniques which inevitably give the advantage to a physically stronger man as opposed to a woman. Um, in karate, however, it, it is possible to, to move in quickly, get in a quick blow, and then to withdraw quickly, because speed is as much as a, of a virtue as is uh, power. Um, the fact that a woman is also unlikely to attack first also places um, karate, uh, th th this uh, self-defense element by a woman within the, the, the general ideal of karate. Um, this demonstration will be by uh, Pauline Fuller, third dan, um, demonstrating uh, de her defenses against Red Ray Kerridge, first dan. Again, judgment of distance, importance, and timing. And an application of an arm lock. from a collar hold. Thank you, Pauline and Ray. The national religions of the samurai warriors of old Japan were Shinto and Zen, both of which have certain things in common. The interior of a Shinto shrine is very simple. In fact, it contains nothing other than a single hanging mirror. The act of worship therefore becomes an appeal to know thyself. 
through which one might ultimately understand others and the world in general. Uh, in performing a kata, an expert endeavours to totally submerge himself in the movement and becomes identified with it. To the viewer, it can seem almost as if he's in a trance, although he is in fact wholly receptive to external stimuli. Uh, this is a feature of karate which is very representative of Zen. Our demonstration of a ceremonial kata will be to the accompaniment of a Shinto chant. In this kata, you may see something of the genuine spirit of karate. It's almost like watching an art form or Nureyev dancing, and it certainly transcends purely physical exercise or combat. Uh, Zen Buddhists believe that there are many ways or does to enlightenment, uh, some intellectual, some artistic, some physical. Uh, along with Judo, Aikido and Kendo, etc., Karate-do is merely one of the physical ways to a better understanding of oneself and others. Uh, Kinuski Anoida, who is the highest ranking exponent of Shotokan Karate in Europe, is dressed in traditional Japanese costume to perform this ceremonial kata. <laughs> Seventh Dan Shotokan. You've seen him demonstrate his kata, and you'll now see him apply some of these techniques in an attack, uh, in a defense against an attack by four opponents. Um, notice the, per the perfect timing and his uh, positional awareness of his adversaries. This is not an applied kata, although some practice has obviously been given to the general sequence of uh, movements as otherwise there would have been a distinct risk of injury. Yeah! Yeah! 
Thank you, Mr. Enoida. What you have seen this evening is an aspect of karate other than the general competition karate that most people think of. Um, it obviously develops fitness and physical self-confidence. Um, however, there are other less obvious benefits. The discipline of a good club is such that aggressive attitudes are sublimated and even the irresponsible tend to become responsible. Uh, a genuine karate man is the very last person to go looking for trouble. However, quite obviously, uh, many of the techniques that you have seen in this program are extremely dangerous and should only be practiced under expert instruction. So if you wish to take up karate, make sure that you join a good club. Uh, there are many clubs around which are not recognized and where the standard of instruction is inferior, irresponsible, and very costly. Unfortunately, the present popularity of karate and kung fu has caused many unqualified people to advertise as instructors simply in order to make a lot of money very quickly. Regrettably, at the present time, there is no legal means of preventing this. So if you do wish to find a good Shotokan Karate Club, which is in membership of the British Karate Control Commission, write to Mr. C. Hepburn, Shotokan Karate Centre, 5 Darley Road, Manchester, M16 ODG, and enclose a stamped addressed envelope. He will provide you with the addresses of clubs in your vicinity. I'll repeat that address. Mr. C. Hepburn, Shotokan Karate Centre, 5 Darley Road, Manchester, M16 ODG. Out of the east comes a taste of a new way of life. Kung Fui. Kung Fui in bacon and mushroom flavor. Crisp. Crunchy. Kung Fui. The smashing new snack from Golden Wonder. Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hola, buenos dias, comment estás? Comment Enoeda Keinosuke-san and Reiko Fujin are 
ロンドンの郊外ウィンザー城を訪れたのは涼しい秋の風がそろそろ立ち始めようとする頃であったロンドンから34キロ県道で美しいこの城は11世紀にウィリアム王が築いたもので850年にわたるイギリス王室の居城であるエノエダさん夫妻は結婚1年半まだ新婚の甘さがある。二人はしっかりと手を握り合って見物していたいや僕は本当にそう思いました夫婦だったらですね手をつないでですねくぐらいのそのあれがあっていいと思いますねこれは本当にいいことだと思いますおばあさんやおじいさんでも手つないで歩いてますねああいうのすごく見てて微笑ましいあれはいいと思いますね,ねだからそのおばあさんになってもその習慣だけはやろうと思ってます、うん、やってほしいですと、ね、<笑>え今はやってますね<笑>自分でハッと気がつきますけどねエノエダ・ケイノスケ35歳空手道六段汗まみれの顔は気迫に満ち怒鳴るような掛け声は弟子たちに一瞬の気の緩みも与えない彼が空手の先生としてここイギリスに腰を落ち着けたのは5年前のことであった。高校の3年生で空手の洗礼を受け大学卒業後日本で後進の指導に当たっていた江枝さんは昭和36年の全日本選手権で3位になり翌年は2位昭和38年の選手権では優勝ととんとん拍子に第一人者への道を進んだその後昭和40年正しい空手を広めるためヨーロッパ各地を回り途中立ち寄ったイギリスに居ついてしまった伝統と栄光の都ロンドン礼儀を重んじる国と知ってはいたが住み着いてみてこの国のエチケットのやかましさと気候の悪さに江ノ枝さんは抵抗した。あの気候にも泣きますね冬になるとほとんどお天道様見ることができませんこちら寒くてですねドラキュラでも出てきます<笑><笑><笑>それだけにああいったそのイングランドのその気質っていうんですかあのど根性ができたんだと思いますけどねあんな悪い気候のところにこんな、ね、これだけの帝国がまあ昔からあるんだと思いますけどだから、うん少し雨がね、濡れたって平気な顔してるんですもんね、この人って。ミニスカートにビートル。伝統の国で古い社会性に逆らうことも、イギリス人のど根性と言うべきだろうか。紳士と淑女の国、イギリスにも。多様化の波は押し寄せている<音楽>ある日道場にテレビ局が取材に来た正しい空手の普及を目指す江枝さんにとってまたとないチャンスである空手というものが変な空手として紹介されることになるからもう早い話はですねちょっと見せてお金を取ってでそのこの簡単な本でも読めば君はこれだけのことができるようになるんだというようなその非常なそのまやかし者が流行ってたわけです。で本当の空手を今ですね見せないとあと大変なことになるということもあって回ったわけです。その反響は非常に大きなもんで、結局我々が帰れない理由になったんですけど。
エヌエダさんの住むアパートはロンドン市内から車で30分リッチモンドの閑静な住宅街にある武骨一点張りのエヌエダさんのうちにも色とりどりの花が美しく咲き誇っているもっぱら玲子さんの丹精の賜物であるある日友人の家族が訪ねてきてティータイムが始まった、うん、イギリスを滅ぼすお茶の時間と皮肉られるほどイギリス人はお茶好きだどんなに忙しい時でも紅茶を飲む暇だけはきちんと作る江枝さんと結婚するためこの国に来た玲子さんはこうした風習にようやく慣れた私が結婚してイングランドに参ります時彼とは一度も父母は回っておりませんしただ電話の声とか手紙ぐらいでしたけどお前の選んだ人だったら大丈夫だろうっていうことで行かせてくれましたけど父も母もやっぱりすごく心配してたようです。それとあの空手のね先生やたれてねえさんというそのあれがあったと思うんです,そ,うです、ね、それも無理はないと思いますけど足一本で手一本ってるのはもう食べられなくなりますもんね後片付けはいつも住み込みの弟子イギリスの青年たちが手伝う三人おりますけどすごく純粋無垢のような感じがしますなんかほがらかで置いていてても全然居候なんていう気もしませんし楽しいですいてくださった方がそれに英語の勉強にもなりますしなんかすごく彼を崇拝しているのかその信じきっていてもう尊敬しているようですねでそれからの先生の奥さんだということでいたわってくれてるんじゃないかと思いますそれに相当ですからそういう気兼ねまんじゃないかと思いますけど私あの主人と結婚して初めて空手を帯びましたそれまではもうすごい野蛮なものだと思って<笑>誤解してましたであの今現在は見るのすごく好きですですからの道場なんかへ時々行っては拝見しております9月のある日市内の道場に稽古着姿のイギリス人たちが緊張した表情で集まった日本で初めて開かれる世界空手道大会に派遣する英国チームの選考会である、はい、エヌエダさんも三人の居候を出場させたこの日のために彼は三人を嫌というほどしごいてきた気ごっきということよりもですね武道でありですね特殊なそのスポーツだとでその練習たりやにその苦しむんであるということをね初めからその案に知っておるんですねまだそれに対する期待もあるわけですだから逆に日本でねパチンと持っていたその仕事かけるとその文句言われるけど向こうの方がそういった点じゃやるいんじゃないかと思いますでもねただそのスポーツ的にね技術だけを据えるということじゃもう絶対にダメですねじゃあ、うんうんイソーローの中から2人が全英チームの一員に選ばれた江ノ江岳の朝食では彼一人がいつも日本食であるあの彼はもう全然ダメなんです西洋料理は。でも朝からご飯、夜もご飯ぐらいご飯が好きなんです。僕の場合は本当にダメなんです。ご飯を食べないとですね。くらの下のね腹いっぱい食べても、なんだかもう食べたような気がしないもんです。<笑>本当に我慢がだできなくなってきてですね。10月10日、東京九段の日本武道館。江枝さんはこの大会に監督としてイギリスチームを率いて乗り込んだ5年ぶりの帰国であったスタンドには初めて顔を合わせた玲子さんのお母さんも姿を見せた
リスチームはインドネシアとアメリカを倒し準々決勝へと勝ち進んだ。試合でイギリスチームは4対0で日本に敗れ去ったがその活躍は日本の空手界にも継承を打ち鳴らした。その夜江上田さんは愛弟子2人と連れ立って夢にまで見た焼き鳥屋ののれんをくぐったいやーもう本当に美味しいですねもう今だからね8キロ太りました僕帰りまして寿司よりも焼き鳥の方がうまいもんですよ本当に<笑>で,がで本当にうまいって言ってましたよだからねもう本当にうまいそうです向こうに行ってやれば早いんじゃないですかね<笑><笑>8キロも太ってしまって再びイギリスに戻った江上田さんは早速トレーニングを始めていた我々としては絶対に一度もね負けてはならないんですということは一ついいところをねここにやらしたとかとかっていうことになりますとですね